So let's just take a quick look at that heater core and how much of a bear this is going to be to do. <sighs> I think before the first time I took the seat out and it's it's up behind here. Oh boy. And you can see right here where my finger is. Uh, see that little coolant drip? Oh. Cross over there for the door speaker. Box cover or something, tubes in the way. <sighs> Ugh. Oh well, I probably can't film this because it's just hard enough to even get down here. Just a body to start removing stuff. So I'll just probably take some quick picks at stages. Well, about three hours into this. Wow, this was tough. Getting up underneath here, trying to find screws that almost don't exist. I've got all that wiring disconnected. It's all tucked under the carpet to be out of the way. There was a brace up in the corner here that had to be removed. That was a pain in the butt to get down to as well. I finally got the cover out, got the heater core removed. This is it right here. This actually just kind of broke off. That's probably where the leak was. Yeah. Well, it's sadder, but. Judging by the look of it, from where the leak was, probably was right here. Actually took the top of the dash pad off, but I didn't really need to. But that was an extra step. And over here we got it disconnected. So when we get the new one in, that's where the ports are gonna go through. We're gonna put two new hoses on it. Went over to the store real quick, got another bottle of juice and the hoses. Let's see which these are the originals, which I had to cut off. Got some more hoses here, so we're going to cut that size. So we put two new hoses on. There's our new part. So it's probably going to be about another three, maybe four hours to get this in and make sure we get all those screws back into place. Well, about another hour of struggling or so. And trying to turn myself into a pretzel upside down. I got the new heater core finally in. I've got those connections right there where it comes through the firewall and these hoses clamped. So everything should be done under the hood. Put everything back, the wires in their respective clips. To do this, where is it? There's a nut right here. And there's also one back down back down here as well so I had to pull this out of pull this out of the way in order to get those those two hoses on there's one down here and there's one up here too as well so I think I'm gonna take a break and then go back to turning myself upside down in the interior and get the rest of it done just taking a minute to clean out all the grime out of the inside of the cover here that covers up the radiator core or the heater core what it was doing is because since I had that leak, it was spraying antifreeze and then blowing it around inside my heater box. So this is why my windows were fogging up really bad and I couldn't control it even with the defroster. I finally got my last screw into place. Everything buttoned up about eight hours later. I wish it didn't take that long, but to get down in here, it's so difficult to work that everything's in the way. Um, 
the light's in the way, you get the light in the right spot, you move a little bit, the light shifts, and then you can't see. So you're holding the light to everything, you're twisted upside down like a pretzel. There were a few times where I just had to get up and get out of here and say, that's it, and almost felt like giving up, but I got everything back into place. Um, wow, this was quite the nightmare, it really was. I'm guessing a dealer probably would charge, oh gosh, maybe close to a thousand bucks for something like this. So the heater core was actually only $50, and uh, I hope to never do one of these again because I know this is roughly about a minimum of a full day's work, minimum. I think it was three, four hours to get the old one out. And then it was about eight hours to get this new one in. So it took me about 12 hours. It's just crazy. Um, I'm about six feet tall, 200 pounds. So if anybody was bigger than me, they would have a real heck of a time trying to even, even attempt this. So this is done. Um, I won't have my windows fogging up every time I'm driving around trying to use the defrost, getting them clear. I won't be blowing uh, antifreeze into my vents anymore, fogging my windows up. So this got taken care of, and uh, I'm glad it's over. I've also gotten into the habit of labeling the top of my receipts because I want to hang on to this one because this has got lifetime warranty. So I just write really big what it is, what car it's for, what the date is. And let's see what we spent today. We bought the heater core, a couple hoses, a gallon of uh, radiator fluid, and we spent a grand total of $60.14 today. That was the actual grand, grand total for the heater core replacement on the 85 Corvette.